thank you so 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 much to still be with me here in this process of learning Spanish and congratulations because you came very far so now let's see three uses the three uses of present progressive even though I know it's I am running you're running but in Spanish we have actually three different uses for the same grammar so let's look at these activities and you're going to do them with me and try to figure out let's try to figure out the rules okay let's see entonces these are the three uses of the present progressive let's see the first one what we do at the current moment so for example can you tell me can you change hablar to a n d o very good if you say hablando it's correct estoy hablando and i will ask you I'm speaking at the, this moment. I was, I'm speaking right now. Yes, I'm speaking right now. And this is exactly what it's used for. It's for the current moment. What are you doing right now? So that's the first use. What we're doing literally right now. So if your mom calls you and say, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm working, mom. I'll call you later. That's exactly what you're doing at the moment. Okay, so let's see the second use. So can you please change Volar to ING. Very good. If you say volando, it's correct. Estoy volando. Para Navidad means Christmas, okay? A, a Mexico to Mexico. So I am flying to, for Christmas to Mexico, okay? Estoy volando. Volando. Very good. Volando. So why? Does it seem like it's at this moment? I am flying right now? No, I'm talking to you, right? I'm talking to you. So when this seems as going to be in the future in christmas so and this is called safe future why because there's another kind of future the one that you say i am going to go to mexico remember i'm going to go but this is not that future this future is like saying i'm flying for christmas to mexico okay so this is a commitment something that you are committed to do and you actually have the flight tickets so this is used for work, for I am work, flying for work, or I am doing this as a commitment, okay? Then the second you, the third use, I'm sorry, is to catch up, to catch up, why? Change tomar, which means to take or to drink, but in this case to take. So take tomar and put it in ing, it will be tomando, very good. If you say tomando, you are correct, tomando. So, estoy tomando clases de español últimamente. Últimamente means lately. So, this means I have been taking Spanish classes lately. Okay? So, at the moment, yes, but not right exactly at this moment. I have been doing this lately. So, this is why it's to catch up. Even though in, in English is different, in present progressive can be used also to catch up or to say I have been doing things lately. So, for example, if you meet a friend, you say, hola, right? And how are you? What's up with your life? Oh, estoy trabajando o tomando clases de español últimamente. Great. So, in here, we saw the three uses of the present progressive. Remember, the first one was what I'm doing right now. Estoy hablando, remember, right now. The second one is the one in the future things that you are committed to do in the future. For example, I'm flying to Mexico for Christmas. I already have the flight tickets. I'm going to go. Or a short-term future, okay? Because you know that you're going to do it. And the third one is also to catch up. So if I say, estoy hablando español, and you add lately, últimamente, it means that you have been speaking Spanish lately. So you use it in context, okay? You have exercises on the resources and also please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any doubts. So this is it for the section. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you're learning. I will see you in the next video.